Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Star Wars games for the Nintendo Wii. Star Wars The Force Unleashed still remains an amazing game, even on the Wii. The Wii version is the same as the PSP version, but upscaled. Okay, I guess the PSP version is actually the Wii version, but downscaled. Anyway, the Wii and the PSP are the same game. And the reason why I distinguish them is because what you get on PS3 or PC isn't the same as what you get on the PSP or Wii. The Wii and PSP version has many things cut out, especially the epic scene where he takes down the Star Destroyer. But even if some stuff was cut out, the game still remains as good. You still have those sick force abilities and destructive environments, you can customize your lightsaber, and you get to do some sick stuff with the force, like shooting lightning or choking people and throwing them around with your force abilities. You fight armies on your own and engage in Jedi battles. Darth Vader is present in the story too, and you can even play some segments with him, actually just the beginning, you, you play the beginning with Darth Vader, and the game is fantastic. The controls feel great too, surprisingly they don't feel weird, you swing your Wii mode for lightsaber attacks and you use your nunchuck for force attacks. LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga is fantastic. It's easy to pick up, easy to play, and even if the target audience are the kids, the game is great even for adults. This simple humor without dialogue is awesome. You get to play with around 120 characters and each level is played in pairs. You can play the game alone and the game will still be fun, but when you play it with a friend in co-op you get up the 100 times the fun. I recommend you to play the game. You will see how awesome it is. Star Wars The Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels is okay, but it falls short. You get a story, but it's short. It consists of around 9 missions, aka 9 battles, which take you around 2 hours to beat. Ooh, you suck! On a Wii game, you get some characters, you get 10 characters. Ooh, you suck! which is a very small number of characters for a Wii game. Especially when you think that the record holder on the Wii, Dragon Ball Tengaichi 3, has 161 characters. And the controls in those 9 battles are terrible. The controller doesn't always read all your moves. I don't recommend you play the game. It has such a small amount of content and even that small portion of content is pretty bad that it mocks anyone willing to buy the game. Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes looks great when you see the game. The graphics look nice, being pretty accurate to the cartoon, but there's a catch. Don't get fooled by the looks, because the game isn't that great. The creators try to integrate different things and the visuals are still awesome with varied level designs, but the gameplay is bad, especially the controls. They are clumsy and don't respond well, I checked other reviewers too and they had the same problem, the buttons seem not to respond every time and that makes platforming, fighting and everything else in the game a chore. Also the level designs are confusing, it happened many times to not know where to go or where to jump and the camera angles are often horrible. Also the game is very repetitive. What you do in the first part of the game, you will do the same till you finish the game, mostly. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 isn't the same great game the first installment was. They managed to butcher what could have probably been an epic sub-franchise of the Star Wars franchise. The controls were ok in the first one, but here the devs said that they tweaked the controls for more immersion. And the result isn't great. Also, what was awesome in the first one is missing here. In the first one you felt powerful. Whereas here, lightning barely does any damage, you constantly receive a lot of damage. When you get damaged, you get flung across the map. The platforming sections feel tedious because of the controls and camera. The game is okay if you never played the first one. 
but considering how good the first one was, this one is rather disappointing. But don't get me wrong, even if I'm harsh on the game, that doesn't mean that the game isn't good, it's just that compared to the first one, this one isn't as good. But that doesn't mean that this one isn't fun or that it's broken, no, it's a good game. It's just that compared to the other one, it doesn't reach those high stakes the first one has set. LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars isn't included in the complete saga. The complete saga is a compilation of the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, whereas this game came out in 2011, after the complete saga was released and follows the same story but has different levels, and it's the same awesome experience as any LEGO game, with lots of humor, lots of playable characters and different levels and story missions to play and replay, it's an awesome game, just like any LEGO game. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description, also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.